As you may already know, I got this 6,500 milliamp hour battery. It was pretty cheap, um, and I've run it in a Techno a few times, and it's not very good. It doesn't balance very well or anything. So, got a bit fed up of that. So I've just splurged out on a Intellect uh, high voltage LiPo. It's 10,000 milliamp hours. This is the most expensive battery I've ever bought, including 6S and 4S packs. 10,000 milliamp hours high voltage and I've got it on the charger here and you can see I'm charging it <laughs> at the full 10 amps which is the highest this charger will actually go to 80 watts 10 amps so actually it's it's not even going to be able to charge at the full 10 amps once it gets to its full voltage which should be 8.7 volts I think on this one so yeah will be very interesting to see how the Techno performs on this beast of a battery. Unfortunately it's just got a Dean's connector on at the minute but I can use the um, the XT90 plug from this other battery um, instead because it's got the same 5mm bullets so I'm going to use that plug on the Intellect battery. I don't think it was the plug that was letting this battery down so it should be alright, both 5mm bullets. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I'd recommend this battery yet because it is insanely expensive. But I definitely wouldn't recommend this. Cause this only performs about the same as my old Turnergy battery which is literally like 4 or 5 years old at this point. And uh, yeah, the resistance on this wasn't very good. So we're out here with the Techno again on 2S. This is the... Chinese battery, the 6,500 milliamp hour one, which isn't very good. So I'm just going to run it about a bit. We're still on the 18 tooth pinion. Going to test the uh, speed and intellect battery a bit later. But for now, I've just got this one in to warm it up. Bit of dirt up there as well. Come on, dog. <laughs> oh, that's LVC already. <laughs> right, I've put the Turnergy Nanotech in now. See what we can do. Oh yeah, definitely more power. Yeah, it's definitely a big difference on a fresh battery. You can actually visually see it's a lot faster. A lot better. 
Oh, that was bad. Still alright though, being a tech now. Oh, that was brutal as well. Try and get one without me crashing. Off of this jump here. <laughs> Came straight for me then. That was very close. Let's see if I can do it without coming precisely towards myself. There we are, that's better. Oh, tripped up. Man, just keep crashing now. There we are, that was better. I can feel it's uh, running out again. God, this thing tears through batteries so fast, it's insane. Give it a go over here. Oh. I've got the Intellect 10,000 milliamp hour high voltage LiPo in. You can see I've strapped the GPS on top of it there. Hopefully it's going to be okay in there. And we're going to do a speed run across here. Right, we've got the high voltage LiPo in the tech now. Let's just check if it's reading. It is. Right, let's uh, get a speed run done and uh, see what it gets. So I want to go on track, start, and off we go. Look at that, 52. So a little bit more voltage, a little bit more punch from the amps, and it goes straight up to 52 miles an hour, that's great. Let's uh, do one more. Stop, read, 52 again, there we go, 52. Now I'll just show you how fast it is going past at 52 mile an hour, hopefully. I don't spin out or crash. I need to start over there on the grass. Back again. One more. That'll do. Do some donuts now.
Right, we've had the first run of the new Intellect 10,000 milliamp hour battery in the Techno. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fully balance charge it and basically see how many um, milliamp hours it takes. I'm going to do that at 9 amps. See how this goes. Show you that. There you go. So it got down to 3.3 .3 volts per cell, as you can see there, and we'll see, that fan doesn't sound too good, <laughs> we'll see how many milliamp hours it actually takes to fully charge back up again. So on the 6500 milliamp hour battery, I'm just going to storage charge that because we already know it's not 6,500, it's about 6,000, 6,200. So I'm just going to do that at 5 amps. See what voltage it got down to. So you can see it's recovered all the way up to 3.6, or almost 3.7 volts per cell, which is um, pretty crazy. So the um, drop in the voltage on that must have been crazy because it's effectively got down to the same this was at 6.6 .6 volts and then recovered all the way back up to almost 7.4 volts um, just with the amp drawer on this so that one has got a lot of voltage sag right you can see here the intellect 10,000 milliamp hour battery has finished its balance charge and it's only put in uh, 8,642 milliamp hours so um, that's not great but it did it was at 3.3 .3 volts per cell so it would have had a bit of juice left in so I think the real rating for this battery is more like around 9,000 if you run it all the way down to 3 volts per cell I think it would be around 9,000 to 9,200 ish um, rather than 10,000 but still <laughs> that's quite a lot of milliamps considering it's the same size as uh, any other battery so that's not too bad is it worth getting a 10 over an 8.4 I don't know maybe not because I saw um, a guy called Nick Adams did a video on the 8.4 and I think his did actually do 8,400 just over actually whereas this one looks to be a little bit under